A big rig rollover shot down eastbound lanes of Texas Highway 71 for several hours this morning. A Cisco Food semi-tractor trailer rig rolled over just after 5 this morning. The crash closed the highway for nearly three hours, causing problems for anyone trying to get to the airport. Cisco Foods tells us the driver fell asleep at the wheel. This past weekend, investigators say a truck driver who had not slept in more than 24 hours hit and injured comedian Tracy Morgan. Driver fatigue is said to be the largest contributor to big rig crashes. A training facility here in Austin tells us truck drivers are in high demand right now in this state. KXAN's Amanda Brandeis gives us a closer look at how they make sure drivers stay safe on the roads. It's not a job cut out for everyone. You're not driving a car, you're driving a piece of equipment. I pray every morning and I am afraid. Being afraid is good because being afraid is what's going to bring you home. And for truck drivers, there's one key trait. You have to be very patient. If you don't have patience, you're not going to be a good driver. They've also got to follow strict rules. Chief among them, drive time regulations, requiring drivers to get a certain amount of rest time. What I'm holding right here is an example of a logbook that, that you don't want to think that you've only been on the road for eight hours and you've really been on the road for 11 hours. But drivers tell me the rules are sometimes broken. For example, some drivers try to make it from Houston to Midland in one trip. But it's a 13 hour drive and the limit is 11, which means legally they should be doing it in two trips or getting some rest in between. They're pressured to get the load there on time. And sometimes it's over 11 hours, sometimes it will take 13 hours. So they will go that extra two hours, crossing their fingers, hoping that they're not going to get pulled over. And that's sometimes when the problem happens. Problems like truck drivers falling asleep and crashing into cars. They do not get the rest that they need. And the reason for that is, is you know, uh, trucks are not making money if the trucks are not on the road. Amanda Brandeis, KXAN News. All truck drivers are required to undergo a physical exam. Doctors look at several factors, including their hearing, vision, and blood pressure to make sure drivers are healthy enough to be on the road. Drowsy drivers cause a growing number of wrecks on Texas roads, we discovered. Nearly 9,000 crashes last year were blamed on sleepy drivers. Those wrecks killed almost 200 people. The federal government in recent years made new rest rules for both truck drivers and bus drivers. Here's a closer look. The rules limit truck drivers to 11 hours of driving. After that, they have to take 10 consecutive hours off. Drivers who carry passengers have to get eight hours off after they spend 10 hours on the road. The rules limit weekly hours for both passenger and cargo drivers. They are not allowed to drive after 60 hours on duty in seven consecutive days.